Hey, welcome back. So this is a follow-up to my last video. In this video, we're going to be talking about Unturdent server configuration, but we're going to be more specific with the rates and multipliers. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is go to your C drive. That's where you have your Unturned server. There you want to click Servers, Server, and go to config.json. And since the server that I have open right now is a default server, we can check that by commands.dat. There's nothing in here. So that means that by default, we will be on easy mode. So whenever you open up the config notepad for um, just your multipliers and stuff, there are three sections. There's an easy section, and then you can also go to the normal section, which would be down under. And then there's also hard, which is a little bit further down. Okay, so if you, since this is default, so it's easy, we're only going to worry about the easy section. So anything under easy is what we're looking at. I'm just going to change it the way I normally play PVE servers. Let's start uh, at the top here. Despawn drop time. That's like pretty important. That's basically how long it takes something to despawn after it's dropped. That can be, you know, zombie drops, uh, player drops after death, which is really annoying. So, um, you know, you might have friends that die and then it might take an hour to get their stuff back, or it might take them uh, two hours or something. Probably not, more like probably 20 minutes, I don't know. This by default right now is set to 600 seconds. So it'll take 600 seconds for something to drop and then despawn. So I like to set that higher. We can do something like, instead of 10 minutes, we can do 20 minutes, so that'll be 1,200. And despawn natural time, that's how long it takes for something spawned in the world to despawn. So that's like anything you can find in towns, military bases, just your regular gear and stuff. That you don't have to worry about too much. You can set that to be a little bit higher if you want. Something like 1800. I'll just keep that at 900. Okay, uh, going down a little bit further. All that looks fine. You can change how many vehicles are spawned and how long it takes them to respawn. Right here. I don't really mess with that. Uh, zombies, that's where it can get a little bit more interesting. And since this is easy mode, you only get regular zombies. This is where you can change that. Let's say you want sprinters or crawlers to spawn. You can actually change their rate right here. So we can do like... 0 0.05 or 0 0.02 for some of these. You can also change bosses when they spawn. You can also change here, where is it? Oh, the drops. The zombies have a chance to drop nothing or a chance to drop whatever you set here. The minimum drop, if it has a chance to drop anything, it can be from one to two let's say so it has a chance of dropping nothing one item or two items you can do it to three so it's nothing one two or three and then you can change that to like two and it'll be uh nothing two or three items this is where you can set multipliers based on how many items uh, zombies drop also full moon experience that's uh you get double experience usually on full moons that I usually set up to 5, just because I like to farm experience on full moons. Uh, for zombie drops, these are regular zombies. Like your, These are your regular zombies like sprinters, crawlers, walkers, acid, and the flame guys. I usually put that to 1 to 2. Mega drops, since it takes a while to kill megas and they don't usually drop that much, I like to put this... Uh, higher, maybe um, you could do like 10 to 15. And then for bosses, since they're even harder to kill, since they have 
all these special abilities, you could put that up to like 20 to 25 if you really want. Going down further, animals seem fine, barricades are fine, structures are fine, players. This is where you can change how much damage for every bar a player might be dealt, how much experience they can gain. You can also change how much experience is lost, or not just experience, but also skills. So this number is a little bit confusing, but it's how much skills the player will have after death. This being a decimal, that's basically the same thing as a percentage. So if I just put one, then after someone kills me in PvP, I will not lose any skills. If I put zero, then after someone kills me in PvP, I will lose all my skills. Since dying by PvP is quite annoying, I usually set that to 1. Or sometimes I would also set that to 0 0.95, just so I have most of my skills after I die. For dying to zombies, I like to set that a little bit lower, maybe to 0 0.85. Now, items lost by PvP, that's fine. Items lost by PvE is fine. Since we have a really long time for them to not despawn, you normally can get your stuff back after dying. Events can also be changed. You can change how long an airdrop might take, how frequent it is. Under gameplay, you can also change timers, such as the respawn timer and the home timer. Let's say you want to respawn instantly at your home, you could set that to zero. I usually set all of these to zero, just so we don't have to wait. Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope it helped. In the description, I also linked this website, which will tell you what all the values mean in the config files. So you can use this when you're making your server. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.